Hello again. I want to welcome you to this um, little discussion. <clears throat> I want to actually um, discuss one or two important facts on repeated topics or questions that um, come up um, probably in UTME past exam questions. <clears throat> and um, we'll be looking at biology as our case subject. Um, for biology, we have quite a whole lot, a whole lot to look at. And um, one of the uh, questions or one of the topics that you should look out for, um, let me start with um, evolution. Evolution is actually one of the topics that, are, that is always trending. Uh, you, can, you, you see them repeatedly every year in UTME past questions. Check through UTME past questions, check from 2010 up till 2023. You are going to see repeated questions on evolution, repeated questions on evolution. So please take note of evolution. Now, there are several areas to look at out for. One is definition of evolution. Also take note of um, <clears throat> um, evidence of evolution. Take note of um, evolutionary trends. These are areas you should actually put your focus on um, when reading evolution. Also another topic you see in biology that is always popping up is the topic on genetics. Genetics. Take note of questions on genetics. It's also an exciting topic to actually look on. If you check our videos, you're going to see um, a, a, a precise and well-detailed um, um, teaching on genetics. Please um, go through it, check through the channels, and um, you can see um, topics on genetics and listen to it very attentively and pick out some important points. Mostly take note of Mendel's experiment. Take note of Mendel's experiment. Also take note of um, <clears throat> sex-linked traits. Take note of um, advantages and disadvantages of um, of, of uh, genetics and so on. These are important areas you should be looking out for in this topic on genetics. Another topic also that actually comes up during um, um, UTME past questions is um, variation. Variation. Please take note of, of, of the definition of variation. Also, please take note of um, the types of variation we have, which is morphological variation and physiological variation. Also, please take note of the examples of discontinuous and continuous variations as it relates to morphological and um, physiological variations. Very key. Almost every year questions are repeated in these areas, in these particular topics. Also, please take note of um, hormones. Hormones. Qu questions on hormones. They usually come up. Um, take note of plant hormones. Take note of animal hormones. Like um, we have the pituitary gland that produces several hormones. Take note of the thyroid gland where they are located. The pituitary, the thyroid, their locations, their secretions. That's the hormones they secrete. These are important areas to look out for. And the functions of these hormones. For instance, we have insulin. Insulin is responsible for regulation of blood sugar. We also have um, um, hormones like the adrenaline, which is an emergency hormone. All these are important things to take note of, or hormones to take note of. They, they usually come up. And um, also another uh, hormone, like the plant hormone, take note of the growth hormones, which are the auxin gibberellins and the cytokinins. These are important topics or important um, topics, yes, you should take note of during um, uh, when preparing for your um, um, UTME exam. You, you need to take note of um, repeated past questions. These repeated past questions are key are important in your preparations. And also, please also take note of reproduction. <clears throat> reproduction in both plants and as well as in animals. Reproduction mostly in plants and animals. Take note in terms of animals, take note of reproductive structures of animals and plants. Take note of um, um, reproductive gametes or, yes, the gametes, 
okay, the gametes of plants, of animals, of, of man and woman, or male and female rather, take note of um, um, courtship behaviors, courtship behavior, very important. Also take note of family planning and birth controls very also important and um, in terms of um, reproduction in plants please take note of pollination take note of um, germination of seeds very important these areas are critical and there are there are there are, there are sports or uh, um, repeated questions where you get repeated questions also um, where you get repeated questions is in conservation of natural resources conservation of natural resources um, where you and, and 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 the resources you should take note of very important is water wildlife forest and mineral resources these four um, questions usually come up from these four aspects i repeat again <coughs> water natural resources wildlife and finally mineral resources please take note of them also, um, questions usually come up in nutrient cycle almost every month, every, term, um, every year, UTME, nutrient cycle. Now, in nutrient cycle, we have um, mostly take note of a nitrogen cycle where you have nitrogen fixation, take note of ammonification, denitrification, nitrification, and the organisms that carry out these processes, mostly the bacteria, their names that carry out these processes, very important, very, very, very important. Most times they bring up these questions, twist it as much as possible. So please try to recall this. Also another question, another topic you should take note of is um, um, transport system transport system please take note of the blood the heart as well as blood vessels you can also check our videos on this particular topic on circulatory system i discussed extensively on the blood uh, the heart and um, blood vessels please go through that video it's going to really help you and take note of those things uh, that are being mentioned in these videos also please take note of respiratory system respiratory system please take note of the gills as a respiratory system but uh, where you should keep your interest really in is on um where you should keep your interest really on is um, um respiration in humans or in mammals mostly in humans take note of um, breathing processes the breathing in the breathing out what really happens take note of respiratory system the structure also please take note of um of um, internal respiration and also external respiration very important also in excretion excretory system please take note of the kidney everything that has to do with the kidney everything about the kidney please is very important repeated questions comes out it can come out in, based on um, urine formation which is ultra filtration um, selective reabsorption it can come out from hormonal secretions and so on these are some of the areas you should also take note of um, apart from that we also have um, um, places like microorganisms in action not really much of it doesn't come out but please take note of microorganisms in action microorganisms in action take note of vectors very important vectors vectors are also questions on vectors the diseases, um, the microorganisms or pathogen they carry and the disease they transmit is also very important, you note it. Also take note of habitats, habitats. Now habitats are also important, um, both aquatic and terrestrial, take note of that. And also basic ecological concept, please take note of the uh, definition of terms. Um, we have terms like um, ecosystem, biomes, ecological niche. We have terms like um, um, biosphere, hydrosphere, lithosphere, um, atmosphere, habitat, populations, etc. Please take note of those and also take note of population. 
um, how to calculate population density or the definition of population density. We also have um, so many other things on that population. Please, it is very important you take note of these areas. And then also, I will also advise um, you, you, you go back to um, animal nutrition and plant nutrition, very important. Take note of um, mostly in animal nutrition, please take note of um, food tests. Food test, very important. Food test. Take note of food test. Um, the, the different food tests, mostly as it relates to proteins, carbohydrates, and fats and oils. Take note of them. Also, in plants, um, prepare, um, test for starch. Take note of it also. It's very important. And also, take note of um, uh, um, experiments to prove or to show that um, there are some several conditions are necessary for osmos as uh, for. Um, photosynthesis to occur, like carbon dioxide, um, water, and um, um, chlorophyll using variegated leaves. Very important also. And um, <clears throat> you should also take note of skeletal systems. Skeletal systems. Take note of um, the appendicular system, which includes the limbs and giddles. Take note of the axial, which includes the skull, vertebral column most importantly and um, the uh, um, um, sternum and rib cage. Also take note of joints, very important, joints, joints. And then finally for skeletal system is supporting tissues in plants. Take note of the phloem, xylem, parenchyma, cholenchyma, and sclerenchyma, their functions very key. It comes out every year. Also, another thing that usually comes up is the structure of the roots of the root and stems of dicotyledonous plants and the structure of the roots and stems of monocotyledonous plants. Very important. Please take note of that. Take note of that. It also helps also in YEC. Please take note of that. Their structures. And then also we have some properties and functions of the cells. Take note of movement, organelles for movement. Take note of nutrition. Um, take note of um, respiration, glycolysis and Krebs cycle. Take note of fermentation, which is also known as anaerobic respiration. Um, take note of growth, which involves mitosis and meiosis. You can see our videos for all of this. <clears throat> uh, mitosis and meiosis. Take note of irritability, which has to do with responses, the three different responses. We have tropic response, we have tactic response, and we have nastic responses. Also take note of um, reproduction, which mostly includes asexual reproduction. This one really deals with asexual reproduction. Also um, take note of cells and its environment. Um, um, topics on, on, on diffusion, osmosis, and active transport. Every, every year it comes osmosis, diffusion, or active transport. Every year it comes. The same is also applicable on cells. Looking at cells, please take note of the structure of a cell and the organelles, functions of the organelles of a cell. Please take note of the structure of the cells, that is plant and animal cells, and the uh, organelles of the cells, the organelles of these cells. And then finally, also take note of um, um, forms in which cells exist, and then finally is classifications of living things. Take note of the kingdoms, the five kingdoms. We have kingdom monera, kingdom protista, kingdom fungi, kingdom plantae, and kingdom animalia. And don't forget cells, organizations of life. Organizations of life, we have cell, we have tissues, we have organs, and we have systems. Please take note of their examples and I believe you're going to do well if you follow this. And also please take note, all these topics I have mentioned and all these key areas I have mentioned, they are all in our videos. Please um, go through our channels, check through the videos, biology, you're going to see um, and type any topic of your choice. You're going to get those um, videos delivered to you. Watch it and try as much as possible to pay attention to these areas I have said, I have discussed with you very briefly, and I believe you're going to do well in your UTME exam. Bye for now. This is all we're going to stop for now. Have a nice day.